Good evening and welcome to week five. Okay, we're halfway through after this week, and um, most of you are doing uh, very well. And um, those of you that aren't, I hope you can catch up. And I'm not going to name anybody. You know who you are, and you know, um, you know your particular circumstances. But in any event, uh, this is the week that we are going to concentrate on hospital pharmacy. Now I spent. 20 years in hospital pharmacy. I'm pretty comfortable with it. Um, I believe you actually see more technicians in hospital pharmacy than you do in, than you do in retail, uh, because of the fact that uh, unit dose requires the use of significant uh, pharmacy technician help. Um, <coughs> most of the technicians in hospital pharmacy find themselves uh, filling unit dose bins and um, doing some unit dose packaging uh, as well as uh, those who do uh, sterile preps, IV admixture sterile preps. And uh, that's the kind of thing you can expect to do. So there's a lot of work in hospital pharmacy to be done. Uh, it's a reasonably stable employment and stable environment. Um, and they usually have fairly good benefits. Uh, they may not uh, they may not pay quite as well as some other places, but they do have uh, better and more stable benefits for the most part. Um, so it's it's worth looking into, and and there's a lot of opportunity there. And I think that opportunity is going to grow and expand as time goes on, as drugs get more complicated and as uh, hospital populations get more and more acute. Um, I remember the time when, you know, if you if you went into the hospital and you had surgery, uh, you always got a couple of days to uh, get your strength back, whatever that means, um, you know, before they sent you home. And that's pretty much a thing of the past. So if you're in the hospital now, you're fairly sick. And if you, uh, if basically, uh, the rule of thumb is if you get, if you get a little bit better and, um, there's nothing that uh, that you need done for you that can't be done at home, then you're going home. And uh, people like to go home from the hospital. They like to get out of there. And honestly, it's it's safer for them. It's uh, uh, advantageous economically to the whole healthcare system. If they get you out of there, uh, you're much less likely to develop some sort of um, resistant infection and um, and end up sicker than you uh, sicker than you were when you came in um, and so uh, getting you out of there as quickly as possible is is actually quite good um, and it's 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 the trend we're getting so the people that are in the hospital are going to be um, on average sicker than they than they have been and I expect that uh, the trend is going to be in that direction. It's not going to reverse anytime soon. It's probably not ever. Um, so uh, there's a there's a good opportunity for technicians to work in hospitals. They uh, they uh, have been there for quite some time now. Um, pharmacists in hospitals are used to working with technicians, and vice versa. So it's a it, it's a good environment. I think so. I hope, you, I hope, you, <coughs> I hope some of you give it a chance, um, and I hope you enjoy this chapter and this week. And um, you know how to get a hold of me. I'll be I'll be here uh, wherever here is uh, through the email. Uh, we did have a we did have an email mix up. Uh, my email was listed at one point in the in the course. Uh, not on the syllabus, but in the Meet Your Instructor as uh, crwilson at hotmail.com. Well, it's crwilson, but it's not at Hotmail. It's at an.edu. And I, I do have a Hotmail account, and that's not crwilson. So that that material went nowhere. And uh, um, hopefully uh, you were able to uh, recover that uh and if you weren't able to recover it, and I understand there's a possibility you weren't, 
uh, then I will do uh, what I need to do in order to uh, see to it that uh, that those scores aren't just uh, completely lost. Okay, so uh, <coughs> hopefully that'll that'll work out for all of you, and it'll 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 uh, find its solution um, in the average in the aggregate. Uh, okay, so have a good week. I uh, hope to hear you. Get, I hope to hear you. Uh, well, I hope to hear you too. But I hope to see you again soon, and uh, I'll be watching, following this, the discussions, and uh, participating as well. So uh, uh, keep in touch, and I'll be seeing you.